Ty Talk Web is back. My co-host Penelope, she's killing these uh, baby cheetah. What? Yeah. Yep, Dad was right. I was right. I said Mississippi State was a trap game. Almost trapped our butts. I got to give a shout out to Stingray, the other internet character, big Mississippi State fan, graduated from Alabama. Yeah, uh, if anybody could check on him, he's probably on suicide watch. Just watch him. It's going to be okay. Ten in a row for Bama. It's par for the course for Mississippi State. Although I got to give it to y'all, y'all played a great game. Y'all almost took us, and y'all played mistake free. And just came down to Calvin Ridley and a few passes is the only different. So hats off to you guys. Anyway, I saw a cool story on how Alabama survived the scare. She was scared. She pooped her pants twice during the game. No joke. Okay, we had our 10th straight win over Mississippi State. It was very in doubt for most of the whole game. Uh, we needed 26 yards and a TD by Smith, Devonta Smith, with 25 seconds left to escape. Uh, it was very nerve-wracking, probably one of the most nerve-wracking games I've seen in probably maybe two years, three years. I mean, it was insane. Uh, Hurts hit a 30-yard one pass to really play before uh, to get a TD, and that caught us back up. Hits also hit a 30, another 31-yard pass uh, to really. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, we fell behind 24-17 in the third. We had a shot to win it early with Papa Giorgio's 41-yard field goal miss. He missed. Uh, sometimes he's inconsistent, so that remains to be seen or heard because sometimes he's inconsistent. Uh, we had three and out, and then Bama had a 68-yard winning drive. I mean, we had so many three and outs, man. We, we were getting pushed back, blown off the line of scrimmage on defense. I mean, it's been years since I've seen our defensive line just get manhandled like that. I mean, they were going through us like shit through a goose, man. Or Saban would say, shit through a tin horn. What? Oh, Penelope said she was not pleased at all. She's going to need to see a little bit better performance against Auburn. She's not happy. Uh, I have to say, Mississippi State was the first opponent in the saving area to score three rushing touchdowns. Even as bad as we were in 07, this is the first team to do it. So hats off to those guys. They did a great. Um, like I said, um, Mississippi State, they held the ball two-thirds of the time. I mean, they had these long, methodical drives. We couldn't get off the field, and then we blow it you know a third down ratio has not been good all year um gotta say Hertz did a great job uh, they, they put eight nine guys in the box and put a mint defense they brought all the safeties down and they, they dared them to play man coverage I knew their safeties weren't as good as what receivers we had so it helped um like I said Hertz finished 242 yards of TD ran for 19 yards um and this, I think total for the game he had 272 uh line blacker play we're missing four, and it shows. I mean, her, Keith Holcomb's a good guy. She said she doesn't want to see Keith Holcomb get on the field ever again. That's what she's saying. No, I'm just kidding. He, he just is not the level of if Hamilton and is not the, uh, the level of Wilson at all, and it showed. Like I said, it, it just we're just showing so many. And one thing that was kind of disturbing, we had one sack. We had one sack versus their five sacks. Now they were they were jailbreaking, and some of the jailbreaks they had on the uh, the blitzes that that opened really up straight up. And uh, so we was crazy is we had 38 carries for only 202 yards of rushing, and that, most of that didn't come to the second half. I mean we were bottled up first half. We couldn't do nothing. Like I said, I have to give a shout out to Ridley. He had catches of 63, 61, um, that both led to touchdowns. You know, like I said, Hertz had 202 yards total for the night. Um, 124 of his total, uh, 171. Of the, so that was good. Uh, here's some things we need to correct, in my opinion, and Ale.com's opinion. What? Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. We've got a lot to correct. Because we're going to be in trouble against Auburn if we don't, uh, we don't man up a little bit. We've got to play tougher. Hold up. She needs a Cheeto break. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, man, like I said, we held Mississippi State to 34 yards in the fourth quarter, which was great. We came alive a little bit. Um, we lost contain numerous times, which we know that their quarterback, Chris Gerald, he can run and pass. He's, he's the whole, the real deal Holyfield. He's really good. So that, that was going to be a challenge coming into that game. We knew that. Um, man, more games missed uh, starters this year than the Saban era. And that's, it's absolutely showing 
absolutely showing. And uh, we're seeing drop-offs in, in everything, man. And it's just, it's kind of scary, to be honest with you. Okay. How one Alabama running back, see if y'all can guess this, sparked the team Saturday night. Because we were sucking the first half. We were really, really challenged. Um, we had uh, six rushes for 36 yards and a TD with two. Uh, he had two uh, carries for 18 yards. He was up in the off the ball. He was running guys over. He was coming off the ball quick. He was hitting the hole fast. Um, obviously, that was Josh Jacobs. Uh, I haven't seen him run like that all year. They said he was hurt. Saban said after the game, but he was finally healthy. And it showed he was a lightning rod. He was getting to people's faces, challenging the offensive line on the sideline. Made a really big deal. He had some runs of 13 and 11 yards in the fourth quarter on an 82-yard drive that ended in a TD. He had some very crucial runs to keep the uh, keep the ball moving. He got the team fired up. Like I said, so that was great. Hats off to Josh Jacobs. Uh, I'm going to give you the eight plays that saved the game for Bama. We had, obviously, Ridley, 63 yards. With 200, uh, 229 in the first quarter, had that one. Ridley, 61-yard catch, 932 in the second quarter. Uh, we had a drop pass by Mississippi State's tight end Jordan Thomas at 8.39 in the second quarter. That was big, really big, because that would have kept a long drive going for them, so that was like crucial for us. Uh, Damon Harris's 48-yard run, he ripped off in the third quarter with 14-14 on the clock. Uh, the Bulldogs' interception pass that we had, 14-18 in the fourth quarter, was big. With the, sorry, the other Bulldog incomplete pass. Jalen Hurts' fourth down conversion, 13-yard run, was big. That was huge. Uh, Nick Fitzgerald stuffed on third down with 116 left in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Really big. That was monumental. Yeah. That, that sack couldn't have come at a better time. And also, really, a 30 yard one pass with 34 or 30, uh, 36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It was huge. It set up the, the game winning touchdown by Devonta Smith. Hats off to that young man. Somebody buy him a steak for that. So that was really big. Uh, like I said, uh, some other things I thought was interesting, I was going to pull this up, show everybody. Uh, it said what Mississippi State meant for Alabama's defensive ranking. Here's, here's the national defensive ranking. And rushing defense were ninth. Passing offense were 83rd. Total offense were 19. Um, we are scoring offense were number eight. Uh, rushing defense were number three. Pass defense were number eight. Pass or total defense were number three. Scoring D were number one. Turnover margin plus were number seven. Not so hot there where we were the last two years. Uh, penalties were number 30 in the nation. We're actually committing a lot of those as you're seeing in these games, unfortunately. Uh, third down offense were 49th in the country. That is horrible. Absolutely horrible. Like we need to be somewhere in the top 25. That is, we're, we're missing a lot on third downs. Not coming off the field, that's bad. Uh, third down offense or third down D uh, were 14th. Uh, 20 yard plays were 32nd. 20 yard plays allowed were number four, so that is good. We're not allowing a lot of big defensive explosive plays, which is good. Uh, this coming week, it'll be pretty much an off week because we have, uh, I think it's Mercer. So, it sounds like a STD. Uh, sir, ma'am, you have Mercer. Anyway. Yeah, so we'll at least we'll get some guys fresh. They're saying we're going to get Miller and Lewis back at linebacker. The Iron Bowl should be big. Uh, I don't think Auburn can run right at us. They're not, they're not strong enough, not big enough yet, I don't think. They do, they do great with misdirections. We're seeing that, and they do have a good quarterback. So we're going to have our hands full all night. We're at their house. I think we're on upset alert again. I'm just going to be real honest. Uh, we can do it, but we're going to have to produce a lot better on third downs. We're going to produce a lot better in the passing game early on. We can't wait till the fourth and late third quarter to do this. So we're going to have to have our D step up a little bit, maybe get some INTs and stuff. So, uh, you know, we just got to play ball, man, just keep it going. We know that we're not as good, and we have a lot of injuries this year. So we're just going to have to man up, next man up, see what we got to do, coach these boys up, and send them down there to the Plains, man. Anyway. Uh, we'll have another one or two more videos out this week. So y'all have a good one. Have a blessed day. Me and Penelope are out.